Hey YouTube, Windraiser here, today coming to you with another Transformers review. And if you're seeing this, this either, either is on Christmas Day or it is the day after Christmas. I'm kind of reviewing these all now on the 24th until midnight hits, so I'll still be re reviewing them. But whenever you guys see them, still, sorry, I'm trying to adjust here, still wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Um, but I do have some new figures, and we're going to, I have them sitting right here, and I'm not going to look, I'm going to look forward at my Thor hammer, and I'm just going to randomly pick one, so, alrighty, let's, the choice has been chosen. We are to review the royalty of the colony, or defender of the colony, Inferno. <laughs> I am happy I have this boy. Um, I have his gun here, and his gun is his traditional. I don't know. It looks like his legs are fused into a giant four-barreled cannon. But the only storage for this is you place it here on the ant's back. And. Yeah, okay, sure. I'm going to set that off to the side and show it off later. But here we have Inferno in his fire ant mode. And I do love this. This is Voyager class. <laughs> very nice figure. Very cool. Very poseable in the mandibles. So he looks very realistic and everything. I like the, color, the texture on the abdomen the thorax here as well as the head the antennae anten, antennae 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 are very poseable the mandibles here are poseable he has his um inner and outer ones his eyes his compound eyes are I'm sorry are made of a blue plastic so you kind of you can see through them literally see through them um, my white my light is freaking out again, but I do love the color on the bug mo on his ant mode. Oops, I just drop him. Very nice. Um, the only thing, his undercarriage is pretty much his legs, and then his arms are folded up here. But that's okay. It's it's a good figure on how he transforms. It's very good. Very nicely done. So we'll go ahead and get into posability for the bug mode. Like I said, his mandibles do open and close very nicely. His lant legs, these ones swing in and out. These ones uh, move back and forth. These move forward and back. And then there's a hinge here at the back. So there is some play posability that you can get with him. Most of the time, it's really hard to get him to stand because you need to make sure all his legs are flat. But he stands very nice, and his antenna are posable, like I said before. Uh, side by side comparison. The only thing I have to compare him to is my previous review, uh, Maverick. So he can ride Maverick on the back. Whoosh. But the top speed met the top speed Maverick goes at, he'll probably fly off. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into his transformation. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the bottom of the bug mode, where these two legs are. And we're going to open up and pull out the arms. So I'm going to hook them together, pull them out, swing them out. And the cool thing is that his fingers are three claws. There's a slot right here that one of the claws pegs into and then the arms peg together. So that's very, very cool on how they did that. Go ahead and rotate the arms around. Go ahead, move these up a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to the back, bring this panel up, and it unhooks from these two pieces. And unpeg these, and they are pegged into the legs. So that will let you bring the legs down. Go ahead and unpeg the legs from each other. Extend them at the knee. They'll just come straight down. Fold out the feet and fold out the heel straight. 
fold out the toe, make sure the heel is straight. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the waist and the butt's going to go with it. These are going to swing backwards like so. And then we'll rotate them at the waist. Make sure the bug butt's out the way. And the waist is all the way down, nice and straight. All right. Next, we're coming to the bug head. Fold the antennae down. Fold the head all the way out. So you hear that noise. Bring it down. Close up the mandibles. Fold them up into what was the inner cranium of the head. Close the head up. And it should just peg in. There's a clip right here, and the head should just clip into it. Just keep those straight up. Rotate the arms. Rotate the arms. All right, and now we're going to bring the arm down. Rotate this. Bring this arm up, or this leg up and out. So bring the arm down. Rotate this arm around. Rotate this leg up. And you want the bug legs to look like that on his back. So you can tell his butt's rattling around. Go ahead, open up these panels. Open up this panel. There is this panel that you can rotate on a separate piece. Bring it down. Make sure everything is in place. And there we have his blender butt. And we have Inferno transformed in his glorious robot mode to defend the royalty. Yes, he did say that a lot. <laughs> his uh, logic circuits were overridden by his bug mode. So he literally thought he was an ant and his uh, protoform pod was his colony and he had to defend it. Uh, tarantulas did want nothing to do with that. But VS, very cool looking but robot mode. I do love this new version of Inferno. Now, granted, I never had the original Inferno, and I kind of miss having out on that. I wanted that figure so, mo so much. I know his bug in bug mode, he did not stand at all. But this is a nice new take on him. I do love him. I do love the colors, the red, the black. The metallic blue that he has, his head sculpt is just beautiful. Look at that light piping. <laughs> and the cool thing about this. For the colony! Ah! <laughs> so yeah, his head, it's just the whole top part of his head just lifts up to open the mouth. That is very cool. I do love it. Posably on him, the head is on a ball joint. The arms can move forward and back, but because of the kibble is like limited forward and back motion. There is in and out, there is bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrists do articulate. That would stuff it go arms go with them. Uh, as you saw in the transformation, he does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. Mm. Back that far. There is a thigh swivel right at the hip. Double jointed knee. Feet can move down. And there is ankle articulation. And his butt... Yes, his butt does do a full 360. Very cool. Now, he can hold his weapon. Where did I put it? His beautiful cannon here. And if you have the Omega Supreme or the Guardian Robot, you do have the flamethrower pieces. And for me, these work very well for his gun. 
I'll put those there. And we can put this one here into his butt. Like so. And if you have a flight stand, you can do it to where when he's flying and shooting at the set uh, maximals where he's like this. So. Ah. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm having too much fun with this figure. I do love him. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Close your mouth. Alrighty. Now, a size by size comparison. Um, with him in robot mode, I have nothing to compare him to right now. Um, we'll just use Maverick in his while well, it's in jet mode. You can see how tall it is that way. Oh yeah, I do have a robot. Hey, I have clamp down here. Very nice. Um, but yeah, he's got a license, even in robot mode, backside has detail, which I f find that to be very, very cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going, yeah, over this figure right now. <laughs> but there has been my review for the Transformers, uh, so, so, Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Inferno. I'm Windraiser. And I'll see y'all on the next review.